What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Today I have something really exciting to show you guys and it just came today in the mail and I'm so excited that I just wanted to make a quick video to show you guys how you can get this for your car as well. Now, what it is is basically a carbon fiber adhesive that you can stick onto the dash of your car. Now, these ones are specifically made for the front air vent covers, okay? And all you have to do is peel off the adhesive on the back and then simply stick it on the surface covering the air vents giving you a carbon fiber look a much sportier look but yet also keeping that luxurious feel also another product that I have that I'm really excited about this is what I really wanted to show you guys is another set of button covers that helps to cover the driver's side uh, button panel and therefore giving you a different look to the car but yet also keeping it classy so if you've seen my other videos you'll see that I've already got these silver button covers on my steering wheel and so I wanted another set that matches the same color because I have a certain color scheme throughout my car which is matte silver with carbon fiber now the best thing about this is that you can do it all yourself rather than paying someone to do it all you have to do is buy it and then once it comes you just have to you know clean the surface with some uh, iso alcohol and then simply line line the stickers up and then stick it right on top and that's it so let's get straight into it and let me show you exactly how it looks okay so as you can see this is the panel that the button cover is for so in order to prepare it just depending on how dirty the surface is you probably just want to get a brush and just get in there a little bit clean it all off get all that dust out you probably want to do this first actually before you uh, clean it with iso because you get a little bit of dust caught in the in between and you want to just make sure that you're getting all that out so nothing will uh, prevent the stickers from bonding to the surface as best as possible it actually comes with some adhesion promoter so this is basically just you know a uh, primer in order to prime the surface so you can get the best uh, bond possible with the ad adhesive stickers we'll just uh, clean it again with some ISO clean that once again now what I like to do is I like to work on a specific area first okay so either start with the top and then work to the bottom it's totally up to you the best thing about it is they are singly made buttons so that it doesn't matter how you do it as long as you cover the buttons you're still going to get a great look so I'm going to do the top three buttons first now I'm going to use the primer they gave me and give all the buttons a quick wipe over okay now this is a really good product okay so we're just priming the surface, getting ready to stick on the button. The most important part is priming it so that you're going to get the best bond possible. I can't stress that enough here guys. So as you can see, even after cleaning it, if you take a look at that, that's still dirty as right there. See that dirt? Okay, so first things first, let's work on the top part. We'll start from the middle, that way we can get a sense of how to line up the side bits. So, we'll get the middle piece. Make sure it's already dried. So I've peeled it off now, as you can see. There we go. And now we're just going to line it up and stick it on. Now remember, you want to make sure that you have it lined up the exact same way. So, the, the arrow is on the left, so we need to flip it over and make sure the arrow is on the left. And then. We just line it up. Don't stick it on until you've lined it up perfectly. And then we just stick it on. Okay, and now for the one on the right. Now, remember that when you're lining it up, you want to make sure that you can still press the button completely in the center, as you can see there. So make sure you can still press the button. Okay, and if you can't, then obviously you're not lining it up properly. Okay. Make sure it's straight, okay. And there we go, the button still presses. And now we can do this one, the circle. Now the main thing to remember here is, you have to match how the arrows are. 
okay so it's really important that you match that now we're going to peel it off now for the hard part to stick it on okay so we'll just line it up there and we will go for it perfect look at that does that look about right to you guys while we have this light on let's do the bottom one okay we'll just line that up straight making sure that it covers it right okay and that's perfect now for the other four buttons now remember you need to make sure that when you're doing this you need to line up the way the button looks and you need to make sure the lip goes over the top okay now they are designed for a specific spot but when you put it on you need to make sure that it matches the curve okay so we test it out okay and that one seems to fit there or is it for the top right, right top left okay so it seems this one suits better onto the top left now we'll grab the rest and see if it sits properly on top it feels like that's the right one there so that's the top right and this one would seem to be for the bottom left got to be careful that maybe during the shipment that they would have jiggled around so make sure you line them up first and make sure you're getting them in the right place because they are curved a certain way so it seems that the two on the left are the same and the two on the right are pretty much the same also okie dokie let's get that on peel it off I want to line the lip up so I'll, I'll hang it over the top and then I want to make sure that it's lined up to the side okay there we go perfectly down and then stick it on but still allowing you to press the button down there we have it perfect as you can see you can still press the button freely now let's do the one on the bottom okay there we go perfect now for the other two see how it looks once I stick it on okay so that's how it's gonna sit on guys like that perfectly just like that okay so that's three done now for the lucky last one now remember guys you're just trying to get it as straight as possible now look if you make a mistake then quickly try and take it back off before it completely glues down okay remember that Okay, I think that's beautiful. There we go. Perfect. Make sure all the buttons do press. That wasn't too hard at all. You know, it looks really good right now. Look at that. Does that not just make the car look so much nicer now? Okay, so now that I've done the driver side panel, there's only three other buttons left to do on the other three doors. So what I'll do is I'll clean it out with this brush real quick. Okay. And then I'm going to clean it with some iso alcohol again and then use the primer for the very end. Okay, so I'm going to go around to the other ones now. Now remember, you're going to have to do this to every single one. I'll just uh, clean it with some alcohol. Okay, so luckily I actually have one of the doors pulled off. So it makes it easier to do this door off the car so that I have a lot of space. Okay, and it's just the exact same procedure for every single door. So, it's just priming it, getting it ready for the adhesive sticker. And now, I'm going to wipe down the next, this door and the two rear doors with this uh, primer. Okay. 
we go. I'm gonna wipe this down too. So you get the picture. I won't show you the last one because it's just the exact same thing. Okay, and now this is the back right door. Peel that off. Now we're ready to go. So we just want to make sure it's covering well. Make sure it's flush, make sure it's lined up well, and then just stick it on. There we go, perfect. And now as you can see, it's perfect. Beautiful. Now we'll do the other two doors. Alright, it's all primed, ready to be uh, stuck on. So, we want to peel it. There we go, peeled it off. Now make sure, remember, there's a lip on one side. So, Make sure that the lip is the right way around. Now to just stick it on. Now I'm going to be covering the camera a little bit here, but you get the you get the idea. Perfect. Oh, that was beautiful, guys. No trouble at all. That was so good. There you have it. Look at that. Now we just have one more side to do, and we're done. And let's put this on, and we're good. So what I like to do is I like to lighten up at the bottom without pressing it down yet. Move it left to right, making sure that it's perfectly centered. And once you have it perfectly centered, you'll know. And then just stick it down. Look at that. That was perfect as well. See? So it's really easy if you line it up from the bottom first. That way you know your grooves are in the right place. And then that's it. Look at that. Perfect. Love it guys, absolutely love it. Look at that, look how nice that looks. Okay, and that's it. That's all the buttons done. Now we're going to do the carbon fiber. Okay, so now we're going to do the exact same thing for the air vents in order to prime it. Okay, so we're going to give it a good clean around it. Okay, now that's all... Uh, nicely cleaned now for the third and final vent and then we can clean it all up and wipe the uh, primer all over it then we can just get to sticking okay so first things first as always just want to give it a good clean get as much dust out of there as possible okay then look at that just from cleaning inside the vents you know it's crazy isn't it You'd be surprised how much dirt you're going to find in these vents, you know, because it's a place you guys never really clean much, you know what I mean? Now for some more iso alcohol. Now, let's do this. So as you can see, this one here is completely square. So obviously this isn't going to fit here. Although it may look like it might, no, it's not. So there's one with curved edges, as you can see, curved edges. Now that one belongs right here. As you can see, look at that. Almost perfect fit. We just have to fiddle with it a bit and then it's going to stick on perfectly. So now that you've cleaned the surface with iso alcohol and you've primed it, get your adhesive and then begin to get a rough idea of how it's going to sit on there. This is really important because it's not always cut out perfectly and sometimes you'll need to stretch it a little bit, you know, because it's really thin. See how you can stretch it a little bit up and down like that? So you just want to get a feel of how it's going to sit exactly. That way you know how, you want, how it's going to um, look in the end. That's pretty much how it's going to sit on, as you can see. When you go to stick it on, make sure that you peel only the two edges first. That way you can line it up properly and know that that's how it's going to stick. Okay, so here we go. Get all four corners on. Okay. Okay, there we go. Alrighty, now. I want to get 
one corner on first. Okay, so that looks pretty good. We want to get that edge on there. Very good. And then get this edge on as well. Okay, get that lined up. Perfect. Now, now that we have this edge lined up, we can begin to peel off the rest and then we can line up the other edges okay there we go that's good and then get this top edge in Alrighty, that's pretty much good. So now we pull the rest off, as you can see. And now it's just a matter of sticking it on. There you have it. Beautiful, and it matches our round one up top here. Alright, now let's do the other side on the driver's side, and we'll leave the middle to last. Okay, so this time what I'm going to do is, I'm going to line up the bottom first. And then, I will slowly work my way to the top. Okay? But like I said, again, you need to get a feel of how you want it to stick on there, how it's going to look. Now, in the end, you, you, you can do this how you want. As long as you get it on in the end, that's all that matters and that it's as straight, as, as symmetrical as possible. You don't want it to be too wonky, you know. You want it to look as nice as possible. Alright, that looks pretty good to me. So, I'm going to start from the bottom and then line it all up. Just like we did on the other one. So I'm going to peel off a corner and the other corner as well. Alright, now I'm going to line it up from the bottom first. Leaving this part here so I can freely grab it, okay? Okay, so this is one corner down. and then we need to make sure that the top is going to sit just like the bottom does okay and then we work our way to the top and oh my god that is so perfect guys wow I can't believe I got that on the first go perfectly and then now look all we do is pull out the rest and stick it on this is so this is a much better way to do it rather than pulling it all off and not having anywhere to hold it. Okay, perfect. Stick that down there. I'll pull the rest out now and we're pretty much good. There we go. Oh wow, that looks really nice guys. It might even look better than the other side. So remember you're trying to line up the edges first so that all you have to do is run your finger along and stick it all down. Magnificent, I tell ya. Now, for the middle one. Before we get into this, I left this one till the end because it's probably the hardest one. Because you need to really make sure you get it completely centered without covering this chrome strip as well. And you don't want to pass this top part so that when this lid opens and closes, it's not going to protrude at all and then clip onto it and then it won't be able to close flush. You want to line it up as symmetrical as possible taking into account you still want these buttons to press you want the lines to line up all around and you don't want to go over the chrome piece at the bottom. From looking at this piece it doesn't look like it's actually 100% perfect but it's still a really good fit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work from the middle out okay because as long as I get the middle somewhat perfect then the sides are going to line up as well okay so that looks pretty good to me right there hope you guys can see it on camera alright so I'm going to peel from the top and the bottom first and the corners here we go I'm going to rip it here as you can see I'm going to rip it so that I can do this. 
okay same thing with the bottom now pull off the bottom and rip it here as well so that we can control how much we're sticking okay we've got that off and now i'm going to rip it right here Alrighties. now now that we have that sorted remember it angles like this on the edges here like that so let's get to sticking now we want the top as symmetrical as possible okay so we have that part stuck down now for the top okay we have that stuck down there make sure the sides all line up okay that's good all right i think we're pretty good here guys so let's get to sticking so this is why i rip it see how i can control it now see how i'm able to pull it from here as you can see and then i'll just tear it here as well like that now I can start to line up the top while I make sure that the bottom is still going to line up perfectly okay test that out again yes that's good that's good perfect very good all right that's ready to be stuck on so we'll pull this back a bit more and stick this part on we'll begin to stick it on okay very good as you can see it's still all on top of that chrome piece at the bottom and we're getting to the end now so we want to make sure all this lines up perfectly good stuff it's not peeled off yet so we want to peel this back now as you can see nothing's peeled off so we want to pull this back and peel it off there we go and as we pull it back, I want to make sure that it's going to stick right. Okay, very good. Now we can pull this back and make sure the bottom is lined up. Like that. Pull that up a bit. Now we'll just make sure the bottom lines up over the chrome piece, not on top of it at all. Okay, that's very good come over on this side it's good all right we're pretty much good here there we go guys that's how it's pretty much going to look but the main thing is that we've got this chrome strip all the way lined up perfectly at the bottom now we can finish this off on top Oh, that's great. That looks really good there. Okay, that's good, guys. Perfect. It's the best I'm going to get it. See how this part is still perfectly straight so that when this opens and closes, it's not going to affect it at all. For something that you can stick on yourself, that's actually a pretty good outcome right there. And we are pretty much done, guys. Now, I'll just give you guys another overlook of everything, how it looks all together, and you tell me what you think.